Humans are causing severe impacts on the natural environment and human health. You, me, all of us are consuming goods and services that involve greenhouse gas emissions, water consumption in water scarce regions and intense land use leading to biodiversity loss. Every day. My name is Stefan Pfister. I'm a senior researcher and lecturer at the Chair of Ecological Systems Design at ETH Zurich. My research contributed to assess impacts of water consumption, land use, as well as particulate matter and greenhouse gas emissions on a global level, with spatially explicit models. We also linked the impacts of production and consumption by covering the complete supply chain of products and services, using a life cycle perspective and multi-regional input-output assessment. This means we know quite well where the emissions, resource uses and impacts occur and who finally consumes the products or services causing these impacts. However, knowing and publishing this in well-known scientific journals and reports does not change a lot. Mankind needs a transformative change to fulfill the Paris Agreement for limiting global warming, to abandon deforestation and limit mining activities, water consumption and environmental pollution. Just informing people and decision makers about the problems does not lead to the change needed. People tend to increase consumption if they can afford it, and decision makers depend on people. The question is therefore, what can be done to make change happen? And not just blame others. In an ongoing project and two new Horizon 2020 projects, we are collaborating with interdisciplinary teams to better understand which information is needed from a social and policy science perspective. We also employ integrated assessment models with future scenarios to identify leverage points and low-hanging fruits. The goal is to understand the most promising and acceptable options for a change, considering not only environmental, but also socio-economic factors and behavioral aspects. I expect this transdisciplinary research to contribute to choosing effective pathways towards a more sustainable society. If you wonder how this will turn out, follow the progress of these projects over the next years.